Hey guys, welcome back once again to my YouTube channel. I am finally doing a normal YouTube video for Star Stable. Well, I've been doing some streams for the past couple for the couple for the past couple weeks. But I really just wanted to get back on here to film a normal Star Stable YouTube video. I love playing. I literally love this game so much. That's why I have three different accounts for this. So let's get into it. We are so I think we are hit nearing nearing the Epona quest. So we are getting into it. Let's go. Can Hello, Olivia. I am completely worn out after many long, sleepless nights. Can you believe it? What? No, it isn't because I've been playing video games all night. It's some. Is it something else? I haven't gotten a good night's sleep for a long time. I've been tormented by a horrible nightmare every night. Do you think you can help me? Maybe. Thank you. I've been a nervous wreck from the path, from the lack of sleep. And can't get any work done. This. The worst part is that I can't remember my dream. As soon as I fall asleep, I wake up again, all cold, all cold, sweaty, and scared out of my wits. But I never remember the dream. I have a feeling that it has something to do with something in my past, but what could it be? Abandonment? Maybe? Can someone really interpret another person's dream? In that, in that case, it might be possible to find out what my dream really means. Hmm. Mrs. Holdsworth, you say? You think she might have some tips for us? Maybe the old lady is really clever. Could you ask her? I'm not in the mood to travel myself at the moment. I'm a wreck. You already have a good relationship with her, right? If you bring this up with her, maybe it wouldn't be so expensive for me. He is a cheapskate. Alright, we have arrived. So the little kid is, have, so the little kid is having nightmares then. And you can't remember them. Hmm. Sounds like he is dreaming about something that he has blocked out, something horrible or traumatic from long ago. But to answer your question, yes, I can, I can have go, I can have a go at interpreting, interpreting, interpreting his dreams. But I will need your help. Of course you do. I need to borrow Carney's strange contraption that he uses as a compromise comparison machine up there at the vineyard right over to ask him if we can borrow it for a day or two it's absolutely vital for us to be able to project James' dream to us right to dream you need sleep even if James daydreams sometimes it won't it won't help us in this case he needs to sleep like a, like a bear in hibernation to get him to do what he'll need what he'll need is some sleeping pills, and the vet and silver glade will most definitely have some. I don't think that's how it works. I think human sleeping pills and horses sleeping pills are totally different things, and have two different. Just I don't think a good idea, but whatever. We need dream turnips. These are normally used in the kind of dream pro project that I know. Hmm. And I know that Barney over there, at, over by the silo, grows excellent specimens to sell to the dream research in Yorvik City. Ask Barton if we can have a turn up. If we can have two turn ups. Alright, you heard the woman. Let's go get this stuff for her. Mrs. Holworth wants to borrow my my adorable contraption. Hmm. I have just ordered a new com com comparison machine so she can have my old one. You're welcome. She doesn't need to return it when she's done. I have my own my new one that's just needs a little tuning. Oh, well, thank you. Hello, Olivia. Beautiful day in Norvik, isn't it? Sleeping pills. I don't hand those out just to anyone, but this is a powerful and dangerous medication. You think? Oh, you oh, you need the pills for a project with Mrs. Holdsworth to cure James' sleeping problems? I understand. That's okay, then. Take this bottle. These pills are ready for a lemming... For the lemmings up by Northing, who can't sleep because of all the road work up up there, but now they have earplugs instead. Cheer, ch chipper and healthier. So take these. They do. Ch they should do the trick. So I'm not very Dream tulips. Yes. Here you go. Take these dream tulips. Excuse, I keep saying. I mean, I'm saying tulips. I mean. All right, we are back. Perfect. They use old machines to do the trick. 
Good job with the sleeping pill. It's prescribed to lemmings. Give me a break. Very nice turn ups. We now need to cat. We need a cat to amputate them overnight to give them the necessary effects for a little dream project. I do have a cat somewhere. Here, kitty kitty. As I'm sure you know, James is Alex, Alex's little brother, and I'm sure he, she know, she knows more about James' pa James's past than James himself does himself. I think you should go talk to Alex about what James is going through at the moment and ask her to come here tomorrow when we were ready. Alex was here earlier and said she was going to speak with Conrad the blacksmith. I'm sure you'll find her there. Okay. Tell Alex. I mean, tell James. Tell James. Tell little James when we. We are going to start the project since he is the main person involved. It will work if he is on time. Oh, Flynn has a special gift sometimes, and sometimes has visions. We need her as the final link between us and who are awake and sleeping. And sleeping James, can you ride over to the vineyard and ask Linda to come up, come help us? I'm sure she's up for there, up there in the library. All right, let's go ask. Let's go tell these people and ask them. Oh crap. <clears throat> Oops. Okay, well. Hello, Olivia. James is having nightmares, and you need help as, as a kind of vision. As a kind of vision link between you and James? Yes. Of course, I'll help, but I don't have a horse. Can you give me a ride to Mrs. Holdsworth Cottage? It doesn't matter that. It doesn't matter that it won't start until tomorrow. But I'll have to stay over at her house. She is old and wise and has a kind of intense, interesting stories to tell. Sure. All right, we are here. Tomorrow is so tomorrow so soon. Perfect. I'll definitely be there. This has to stop. See you tomorrow. If I don't sleep, haha. -ha. If I don't sleep in, I am going to take Linda to Mrs. Holdsworth. Okay. Thank you for the taxi ride. Alright, Miss Holdsworth, what do you need? Great, Olivia, I'll continue with the preparations. You wonder you wonder why we won't cancel the project right away. You are so impatient. I am. There's a lot of preparation to be done. The turnips need to be incubated by a cat overnight, which is what I still don't understand. So we can't do it until tomorrow anyway. You have to be patient, my friend. Alright, that's me for today. I hope you guys enjoyed, and see you guys on my next one. Bye-bye!